Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this very short tutorial on installing Adobe Output Module back into Bridge. I had a very nasty surprise when I launched Bridge today. What I wanted to do was to export a folder full of JPEG images into a PDF file just so that they would be accessible as a PDF. Well, look as I did, I could not find the output option in Bridge and I know it's supposed to be there because I've used it in the past. Well, thank you Adobe, they didn't give it to me. You see the output option is not installed with the most recent versions of Bridge, but it's available. You just have to know where to look and you have to install it. So you'll need to go to this website and I'm gonna give you a link to it in the description. Now, when you get there, you've gotta be really careful about what version of Bridge you're using. If you're using Bridge CC 2017, then you have to be using version seven. And if you're not, you need to upgrade before you start. And then you get a version of the output module for Windows 64. So that's probably most people are using that. There's one for Windows 32, but probably very few people are using a 32-bit operating system anymore. And there's one for Mac OS X, but it's version 10.10 .10 or later. So if you're using an earlier version of Mac, you're out of luck here. So there's also options here for the output module for Bridge CC 2015 version 6X and same options here, various Windows versions and one for a Mac operating system. And then there's one for Bridge CC. And there's a bit of extra information at the bottom here. So basically I'm running a 64-bit operating system. I'm on a Windows machine. I've confirmed that I'm using Bridge CC 2017 version 7. And so I've clicked here to get this file. So I'm just going to do that. It's very quick as a download. But really I'm wondering all along why I'm having to do this because this is really inconvenient. So here's my zip package. It's been opened automatically on the download. If yours doesn't go to your download file, double click on it. You're going to need to extract the files. So I'm just going to extract this just to my downloads folder, just so I can get access to the things in there that I need to do something with. Okay, so here's my package. So the next step here is they say to decompress it. Well, that's really just unzipping. So we've already done that. And then we need to go and to copy the Adobe Output Module folder. So the whole folder has to go into the Bridge Extensions folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this location. I'm going to Windows Explorer and I'm going to open a new Windows Explorer window and I'm going to paste the location into the window. That's just going to make things a whole lot easier because that's already taking me to where these files need to be. So now I'm going to open up the package that I just expanded. And what we have to do is we have to take the Adobe Output Module folder. So let's just close Chrome down. Here's my Adobe Output Module folder, and I'm just going to drag it in here to my Extensions folder. And if I don't want to move it, if I want to copy it, I'm just going to add in the Control key as I do that. So that's now done. There are some extra instructions here for the Mac because you need to be able to find your library folder, but that's all explained here. Then we get a workspace file and that has to go into the workspaces folder in the bridge extensions. So let's just close this down. Here's our workspace file here and here is our workspaces folder. So I'm gonna pick this one up. I'm gonna add the control key. So I just make a copy. I'm gonna drop it into workspaces. Now at the bottom of the web page we were looking at are the instructions for actually finding the thing that you've just installed. In Bridge CC and obviously 2015 and 2017, you're going to find it in Window Workspace Output. So let's go and see. I'm going to launch Bridge CC 2017. I'm prompted that the extension Adobe Output Module has been added to Bridge and do I want to enable it? Yes, that's what I came here to do. 
And now when we go to Window and Workspace, we've now got our Output Workspace. So now we can go back and do all the things that we would expect to be able to do from Bridge. In other words, output a folder of images to a PDF file. That's what you need to do and I'm really sorry you have to do it because it really should be such a simple thing to install it with Bridge, but apparently not. So that's how you go ahead and do it. I hope that this video has helped you and if you need to be able to output files from Bridge that you are now able to do so. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. You can also visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.